Hello Astros, Teacher Carrie here and I'm glad you joined me with this outdoor space that we're in. For today's activity, we should have our tray or a clean surface, our chia seeds, our clay ball, and our two frogs. Now with this activity, you might need to have a grown up or help or if you can do this on your own, that's even better. However, we want to make sure that we don't overfill. So we want to put, we're going to have our chia seeds bottle. It's going to have a lid. So we want to go counterclockwise, twist it to the left to loosen it up and open it up. Now, we're going to place it in on our tray and we should have a grown up to help or if you're able to pour a little bit of water in, that'd be great. We want to be able to put in about that much water. So I would say, take your thumb from your knuckle to your pointer, place your knuckle on the bottom, place your thumb aligning the edge of your cup or whatever you're using to fill with water and just right on the top, we want to fill with water. And then after we have our water in our other container, we want to pour it into our chia seed container. Now, after we have the water in our chia seed container, we wanna place it to the side. It's gonna take a little bit of time to see the magic happen. Now, in the meantime, we have our book to learn from tadpole to frog. We're going to learn why do we have chia seeds, why do we have this ball of clay, and why do we have two frogs. So from this book, from tadpole to frog, let's find out why do we have these. A frog egg is laid in a pond. The black dot is a growing frog. Black dot. It's very small. So it might look large in the picture, but that's just because they zoomed in really close to the egg, the frog egg. But these eggs can be as small as our chia seeds. So if you look at our chia seeds right now, those look like froggy eggs. The black dot bec becomes a tadpole. Its tail is growing. So from that little small egg, it's growing bigger and it's growing its tail. And it's called a tadpole. So we have our egg and then the next stage is our tadpole. So we're going two stages. The tadpole has hatched from its egg. It has a long tail and a small mouth. That's what a tadpole is. A tadpole becomes a frog. Its tail becomes shorter and its eyes and mouth grow larger. The frog climbs out of the pond and it's still growing. So it's in its third stage of growth. We have our egg, our tadpole, and now it became a frog. And each stage has a unique characteristics. First it starts out like a little black dot and then it grows its tail. And then the third stage, it grows its arms and legs and its mouth gets bigger. The frog is now a grown up and its tail is gone. No more tail. It doesn't need it no more. The grown up frog does not look like a tadpole anymore. It cannot 
it can climb out of the pond or the water when it wants to. So it can move in or out of the water instead of staying in the water. How cool. A frog makes noises so that all the frogs can hear it. Rub it, rub it, rub it. And that is from tadpole to frog. So, we mentioned that frog eggs were small little dots. So we can say that our chia seeds in the water are like our little froggy eggs. You see? This has been sitting in water for about five to 10 minutes. And the longer they sit, the bigger they grow. And you can even touch them too to see what it feels like. What do you think it feels like, Astros? It's fun to play with. Now, these are supposed to be our like little frog eggs. And then it goes into its next stage. But I wonder what you can, what stage is after the egg? That's stage two. Because we have our stage three frogs. So we have our egg and frog, but what's our missing stage? What's our second stage supposed to be? You're right, the tadpole. And so we're gonna open up our clay and we're gonna make our own tadpole. What do you think the tadpole, tadpole should look like? What do you think the second stage of a frog would look like? So. I hope you enjoy this really cool activity with the chia seeds, which you can smell, you can touch, just feel the different texture, and you can see them expand. And the next stage, we get to mold our clay into what we think a tap hole should look like. And then it could go into our third stage frogs. We have our frog friends to play with also. So I hope you really do enjoy our activity today. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.